willkommen. Welcome to the harbor city of Hamburg. And I used to live near here, but we're back here visiting for three days and we're just checking out and seeing all the things we love about Hamburg. And check out this building. So this is the Il Harmonie. So this is basically the musical hall. Did I say that right? Il Philharmonie. Il Philharmonie. But it's not the best angle of it. From yeah. the other side, it's yeah. really cooler. But we'll look at that later. There's a lot of really architecturally grand and interesting and modern and hip buildings in Hamburg and that's that's really one of the cool things about this city. So we're gonna wander around today and check out all the cool things about the city of Hamburg. And the temperature. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool like the temperature. That's right. Check out this. So this is a bit of the Berlin Wall. It makes me feel like home in Berlin. Now we're gonna go and check out this Elfle Harmony. Elfle Harmony. So I'm up top of the Elfle Harmony at the moment, and it really gives you the best view of the harbor city of Hamburg. And as you can see, like, it's just harbor city. So crates and cranes and steam and machinery, and just for as far as you can see, so. I've honestly never seen such a big harbour city, so that's a really cool thing about Hamburg. On the, uh, what's this river called? The Elbe. Elbe. So On over the there, Elbe. it's actually like the container harbour. And the half of city in Hamburg is like the modern hip district, yeah. which is on that side. You can ah. see it if we walk around. But, but check, out, check, out, check out that view, it's just cranes and machinery and factories and just the German industry that's cool that's what I like yeah. about it it really portrays the German industry throughout the city they always have these like little green areas green parklands like so it's really contrasting compared to like the massive big office buildings and then a little parkland so it's kind of refreshing to sort of have a nice little green space you can come and relax obviously if it's a nicer weather but still nice even in the cold <laughs> right now i'm standing in vasco de gama platz i think i said it right and who is that who is vasco de gama first portuguese sailor to sail around south africa in about 1500 ah. yeah 1469 to 1524 so coupled in with all the main buildings and stuff there's all these little artworks and little places that people can come and it provides you a bit of a historical insight i feel so that's very nice vasco de gama platz hamburg's definitely the harbor city and you can see this once again with all the bridges everywhere so gita is Hamburg the number one city in Europe for bridges? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure that's what I've heard. Number one, Amsterdam, isn't it? Uh, no, Hamburg had more, has more than Amsterdam and Venice and London together. Ah, oh, that's what it is. But it's so like it's throughout the whole city, there's all these little weirs and whatevers and bridges everywhere. Yeah, and it's very nice. We're going to do a roof cruise later, so I'm excited for that. We'll be good. It's not here though. It's on the other side. I'm definitely noticing while we're walking around that the the traffic and the roads in Hamburg are just it's like much friendlier and more relaxed and it sort of just makes for a nicer more relaxed vibe I feel like so I'm really enjoying that about Hamburg like don't feel like I need to run across the road or like push my way across and there's a car about to hit me sort of thing do you feel Good. like that a bit yeah I feel like that and the roads are just very nice because like you can see all these trees around and there's grass and green and it's sort it of like a nice contrasting it definitely is nice, but you haven't been driving here. It can ah, get yes. so confusing. For example, I haven't like been this driving street, in Europe at all. There's so many one-way streets. One-way streets. So if you drive in here, you're like, yeah, I'm lost for an hour. Ah, okay. The the Neu Neuer Wow. Let's check yeah, it out. Hi. We're walking down the shopping alley of Hamburg at the moment. Uh, the Elbeuer Straße. I think probably got that wrong, but. You can really see uh, the Europeans, they, well, at least the Germans, they love celebrating their Christmas and their traditions and all the beautiful lights and things. So I'm definitely noticing in uh, Hamburg, especially, all these beautiful Christmas traditions and lights and very beautiful. It's such a beautiful street, beautiful architecture. 
the weather in Hamburg sort of been raining on and off all day but the uh, Hamburgians have a saying that there's no such thing as bad weather only bad clothing and I'm finding this to be a bit true but right now we're at the Ra house and it's really interesting in Hamburg that there's so many buildings that are still existing from ancient times so in other cities they were completely demolished but there's a, many many buildings in Hamburg that are still standing from ages 200 years old there was one that was built in 1914 we're just checking out and the art house this is what it is so this is the town center where the mayor works so what i really like about the old buildings is it provides like an insight into the german cultural history before world war ii because so many of the other cities were completely demolished and smashed that they lost their history but hamburg has a lot of history maintained in these ancient buildings such as that art house these lions i haven't really figured out why they have lions in germany because they wouldn't have had lions Weird. how's that for some history he was the mayor between 1794 and 1859 Very ancient. 1587 to 1657. Check out the Ulster. So the Ulster is the harbour in Hamburg and here's an interesting visualization for you. So see all this water here from that bridge, all of this to that bridge. That's the amount of water that Hamburg drinks every single day. So another thing I really like about Hamburg is like all these like lakes and rivers and everything like that just go all through the city and it makes it very beautiful because uh, where you have rivers, you also have animals and walkways. So, lots of walkways to enjoy in Hamburg. Very beautiful. Look at these ducks and the geese. So that's pretty much my thoughts and feelings on Hamburg and why I like this city. So, make sure you stay tuned for the future northern adventures. So I'm heading up towards Scandinavia and going snowboarding and a few other interesting things. So, stay tuned. the best view of the city so Hamburg the harbour city you've got a fuzz here yeah.